It's dry. We're out here planting the dove field and first of June. It is it is dry as a bone right now. We're gonna get it planted. We're supposed to have some rain coming in Tuesday. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Deer season's done. Turkey season is done. Now it's time to start concentrating down here. First week of June, it's time to plant chufas for next year. And more importantly, get ready for the first season of the year, which is doves. We're gonna be planting the Pennington seed mix today that's got dove proso millet, brown top millet, little Japanese millet, some WGF and Paradovic sunflowers. It's got a little bit of everything. The reason it's good to plant a mixture like this is in case you have a failure on one seed, you haven't wasted the whole crop. So planting a mixture, dove love all of these seeds. They're going to mature at different times. They're gonna grow at different heights, produce different covers. It is a great mixture, easy to plant, and it'll work well. The millets are idiot proof. You can throw them on top of the ground. As long as they get just a little bit of moisture, they're gonna grow well. WGF, a little harder. Sunflower's a little harder, but the mixture that they've got in here, you should not receive a crop failure if you get any rain and do the proper seed bed preparation, you will have a productive dove field. For years, people have been asking us, please show us how to design the perfect dove field. Well, we haven't had a location until now. This is the perfect dove field. This is a 10 to 15 acre field. I preferably don't want one less than five or six, really no more than about 20, where you can have a good, good shoot. Millets, sorghum, sunflowers on the hill. And once you get down here and look, that furminator is laying it down perfectly. It's not too deep. The millet's touching the top. The WGF is right there. Good seed to soil contact. Y'all, you don't have to have a seed bed a foot deep for it to work, especially with this small seed. Scratch the surface, let the rain hit it. Mother Nature will take it from there. We put in an artificial power line through the middle of it for a good loafing habitat. We've got bare dirt on the lower end where we can keep them fed all summer long, give them good places to land where it's, they can see, predators can't get them. On the other side of that, we've got water for them that we will keep mowed all summer where they can walk down to it. And then all around, you've got roosting trees and trees for them to nest in. So we have provided every habitat component that the doves need right here in about 50 acres. It couldn't get any better than this. Again, in Alabama, we shoot our own birds. Early season, we shoot what we raise. So if you take care of them all summer, a pair may have two or three clutches of eggs that they raise. So you're growing your birds, you're feeding them, you're taking care of them all year where you can have a good shoot come September. We finished planting our dove field yesterday and this morning we've shifted over to chufas. This is a spot that first of all we know turkeys utilize. First and foremost, a lot of people you need to pick the site based on the soil, but more importantly, you pick it where the turkeys are. Pines, thinned, burned, roads everywhere. Clover field up on the ridge where we filmed back this spring. We're lucky that we've got good soil. It's got some sand in it. It's going to work perfectly right here. And y'all, this is an old logging deck. You can see the logging debris that's still in here where Howard burn it. We're doing a pass and a half. We've got the disc gang set on the most aggressive setting. We've got them at the sharpest angle where we're turning up as much dirt. We'll make a pass, we'll come back, we'll take half of it again to chop it up more. It doesn't look good. It's got a lot of thatch on it. 
But y'all, it's dry. We hadn't had rain in a while and we still got moisture. So it doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be powder. It doesn't have to look that good for it to be effective. I'm gonna finish this. Then we'll set the disc straight, put the chufas in the hopper, come through and plant it, walk away, get a rain this weekend. We'll have a good chufa patch. We've got plenty of locations that we can sit around in the woods. Hopefully we can get William his first turkey next year. is not a grass, a chufa is not a broadleaf, a chufa is a sedge, and the reason turkeys love it so much is when you pull up one of the plants, it'll have that many of those tubers, or those nuts, under each plant. It's shallow, they dig it up, and it's like crack. Now one of the problems with planting these is you can see they're inconsistent on the size. You got big ones, medium ones, little ones. So you just have to be careful. Open the ferminator up as wide as you can. Y'all, you can broadcast them. We planted them with two row planters. Chufas are fairly easy because it is a sedge. If you get weeds, you get broadleaves, you get grasses, they're easy to clean up with chemicals. So it's, uh, and it's a great plant for turkey management. After we cut it on our aggressive setting with a with pass and a half, we set it to about a 5%. Just where we're cutting up some dirt, we've got a chufa there, chufa there, chufa there, chufa there, one here, one there. It's actually doing a really good job despite the fact that we've got such uneven consistency on our seed. All this organic matter, it's kind of a pain. It hangs up every once in a while, but that's a mulch. We get a little rain, it's going to hold it down where they don't dry out. And it's also going to protect some of these seeds from crows and turkeys and raccoons where they don't eat it all before it has time to sprout. This field is a little large for a chufa patch. It's probably an acre, maybe even an acre and a half. You don't have to have one that big. If you do, that's great. But a quarter to a half acre chufa patch will be outstanding in your hunting area. Y'all, this is looking outstanding. Hey, buddy, I know it's terrible. I know it's terrible having to sit on the ranger while I'm planting. Okay, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Settle down. Okay, I know. I know. I know. Okay. He's a little attached. Okay. All right. Now, can I finish? Can I finish? 